All right, let's get into it. So, our man Getty D, how you doing, man? Hey, what's up, man? I'm doing well. I'm over here in Boston, just hanging out. It's a, it's an honor to be able to be on the show and talk to you. Yeah, man, it's, it's great to speak to you too, man. Um, so you're like, you, you're kind of like in the catering industry, is that right? Yeah, I'm in the catering industry right now, and I'm um, doing this as work on the side you know i have more money to invest in my craft and be able to invest in the ministry and it's been helpful you know it's it's a good balance i'm able to make a schedule and try to keep everything in a good balance so yeah that's um, good man that's good to have uh yeah priorities <laughs> yeah man it's, it's just it feels good to work but at the same time it's kind of like i don't want to get stuck at a dead-end job yeah. i really do want to like accomplish the dreams and calling that God has for me, you know. Definitely, That's man. important to me, like, so much, you know. I guess so, but even, like, even like, like in Scripture, we see Paul, he had to do, like, tent making and stuff like that, so everyone's got, you know, you've got your right. calling, but you need to kind of provide for your needs at the same time, so. Anyway, man, um, tell us a bit more of, like, who you are and how you got into the sea, man. Well, yeah, um, so I was born in Massachusetts, so, like, so short area, and I grew up here, and, um, you know, I, I had a really tough, you know, childhood kind of growing up. It was good at first for a while when my parents were together, and then things just split up, you know. There was a divorce between them, and, um, you know, it was me and my older brother, and we were living with my dad and stuff, and it was good for a little while, but, you know, of course, I was in the world at the time and stuff. I was just like... I was just growing up around, like, sinful behavior in a way and stuff. So, you know, I was just, like, never thought about God and stuff and um, only went to church a couple times. But, you know, overall, like, my dad ran into some things, and, you know, we ended up in DCF custody, like the, you know, um, social social services and stuff, um, where me and my older brother went into, like, foster home and... um then my dad got us back, and he was seeing another woman at the time, and she just turned out to be really crazy. And she had these episodes where it just, like, ruined so many relationships, and, you know, it, it tore us apart as a family and caused so much damage, and there was drug use going on, and, you know, things of that nature, and a lot of, like, mental and emotional abuse and stuff taking place. Yeah. So... I suffered through that along with my older brother and stuff. We were just like suffering through having to be at that, be live with my stepmother and dad at the time and, you know, moving place to place because they couldn't keep paying the bills and we had to move somewhere new that was affordable. And it was just like so much going on through like about eight years or so. And I just like finally said, I can't do this anymore. I was like, you know, probably like 15, 16 at the time, I signed myself back into foster care. (laughs) Because, like, I just, you know, I couldn't take it living at a place that was just using drugs and stuff. Eventually, I just stayed in the foster care system until I aged out at the age of 24. But, um, you know, this friend I met in middle school who invited me to youth group at one point you know, he became friends with me, and he invited me to his youth group and stuff, and I went once or twice. I never really got into it, but, you know, I ended up moving back to the area when I got into this foster home, so I started hanging out with him again, and I was, like, going to church more and stuff, and I was going to the youth group, and, like, eventually I just, you know, accepted Christ. I, you know, realized that the love they showed and the, the... you know, it was a different thing than what the world is, you know. They they showed that you can still, you know, have real relationship without all the toxic stuff that the world tries to mix with it, you know. So I was really compelled hearing the gospel message and getting to know, like, certain pastors and really feeling accepted and stuff. And I gave my life to Christ through that church, you know, um, Brockton Assembly of God, and this was in 2011. I was about the age of 17. Yeah. And I, I, you know, 
at that time when I was like in my teens, I was using like marijuana, I was drinking alcohol, I was getting really like addicted to it, you know. I was smoking cigarettes a lot, I was doing those types of things. And then when I came to Christ, he took all those desires away. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, it really happened for me. Like, he took those desires away to, like, smoke and drink. Yeah. And I was, like, going to church, like, three times a week. I was going to the retreats, and, you know, I was getting involved and being part of the youth group and just really trying to find my place that God had for me or where he wanted to take me. And, um, you know, he... He, it was amazing how he worked that miracle. And, and then I got baptized by the Holy Spirit at one of the, you know, winter camps in New Hampshire and stuff. Um, I think it was Berea, you know. There's a there's a camp called Berea that's popular. Um, it's like a Christian camp, and I they had a Holy Spirit baptism service, and I received the Holy Spirit, I received the gift of tongues and stuff. Um, and that was a really life-changing moment as well, like, feeling so on fire for God. I came back to high school different, you know. I wasn't the same person, you know. I, I, People could see the change in me, you know. They realized that I stopped smoking. They realized I wasn't talking about certain things anymore, and they realized my character and personality was different. Yeah, man, that sounds good. So it's like a life-changing experience. So then... Had you always yeah. been had you always been doing the music up until that point then, or was that something different? Well, yeah, I started the music in probably like t- 2012. It was honestly another like miracle that God just gave me. Like I never really used to rap or anything before I came to Christ, but I remember I did write maybe one rap. Like I I, I liked writing kind of type of poetry and stuff, but it wasn't Christian, you know. But Suddenly, I was walking to this bus stop. This was after I accepted Christ and became a born-again Christian. I was walking to the bus stop one day, and this rap came to my head. And it was like this Christian rap that I felt like just come to my mind. And I, I was like, wow, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to try to flow with this, you know? And I, it was my first Christian rap. And, you know, I still remember the first Christian rap. Like, it just came to my mind. Like I was like, God just gave me that gift, you know? But it was like... Um, born again Christian, don't want to go to prison, exercise my brain, call it mental fitness, the Lord is my witness, you know, like stuff like that. Yeah. It's just like, it's just a little, you know, snippet, but, um, yeah, man, it was just so compelling for God to just lay that on me. And, and that was just like the start of me writing. Like from there, I just started writing more and more. And I was making tracks. I was trying to record stuff on my laptop, and it was horrible quality. But I was still like trying to record this, and I was taking it serious. Like I really just want. I thought I was like doing. I, was, I thought I was making some good stuff. It was. It was really like terrible, but it was like it sounded good to me, and I was like really putting my soul into it and recording this on my laptop. And God, God allowed me to meet some of my best friends from that church who were into the same type of art, you know, writing and music and hip-hop and poetry and and drawing and stuff like that. And I teamed up with two of these friends I met from this, through this church, and, you know, we created a little hip-hop group, and I was working with them, and I was getting better and better through the years. So it's been about seven years or so that I've been doing Christian hip-hop, and, you know, I've gone better and progressed through the years. Wow, man. So that's led you up to where you are now kind of thing. Yeah.